welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a super fantastic day. Just to start off this video, I had to say that. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the Morphe 3502 palette. This palette is amazing, by the way, just spoilers. But, um, yeah, pretty much I did this look using this palette today. Super fun. And I hope you guys enjoy it and are ready to find out how I got this eye look with it. Just a little quick life update before we start this video. Um, life's been good. Tomorrow I'm actually getting two or three tattoos. I don't know yet, depending money wise how much that's going to cost. So I'm getting probably three tattoos tomorrow. Um, which you'll probably see in my next video just or on my Instagram, who knows. Which by the way, I changed my Instagram name. It's Brittie Cakes, so it's B-R-I-T-T-Y and then no spaces or anything cakes. But then at the end, the cakes has two S's at the end. I think that's how I spelled it. Because cakes by before, like normal cakes was taken, which was super annoying. But yeah, so that's my Instagram. If you guys want to go ahead and follow. Oh, and I got a new car. I don't know if I've said that in the last video. I don't think I said it, but I got a mini Koopa. I'm in love with it. It's so cute. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This palette is bomb. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Sorry in advance if you hear stuff in the background. That is my dad playing video game. I tried to close the door in his like computer room where he plays and then my room, but still I feel like it's coming through. So I'm going to try and wash it out with background music. Fingers crossed that works. Today we are going to be doing the look with the 3502 palette. Just This just recently hit stores and came out and I'm really excited to play around with this. These are like the hardest palettes to open, like with nails, like they're so <laughs> I can't even, I can't even open it right now, this is so bad. This is the 3502 palette by Morphe, of course, and it's just, I love it so much. Uh, this red color, I don't know if you guys can see that, is what really caught my eye and what really got me to buy this palette because that bright red and then I swatched it and that stuff stays on forever. What really got me to buy this palette? Um, what I love is that the other um, older Morphe palettes like the 35-0 which I'm going to show you and compare this to which is this palette sister um, doesn't come with shade names which is kind of annoying. So I think it's just cool. Um, this is the sheet that it came with with all the names on it. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, my only thing is, is I wish that they would have put the names like on the back. Um, I just feel like I'm gonna lose that sheet really easily, so I just wish they would have done that. My only thing too is, imagine how cool it would be if this was actually like a mirror, like a full blown mirror. Like, I think these palettes would be like way more 10 times amazing, because imagine just being able to do it with like, a huge mirror instead of just like this plain black. And I feel like they could, it would spice up the palette a little bit too. So as you can see as well, this is the 35-0. The packaging has definitely um, changed. The 35-0 has that original Morphe um, with the capital M with the red on it. Um, so they definitely changed that. I think I do like the newer packaging better, just with it's more simple. I think it looks way nicer and more classier. So compared to it, this is the 35-0, the original one. Ignore my nails. I know they need to be filled right after this video. I'm actually going to get them filled, so just ignore them. But, um... Yeah, so this is the 35-0. It's very similar in which that it has, like, those rusty, like, reds and the browns. Um... I think I'm gonna like the 3502 better. Before we start, I'm of course gonna be going in with my MAC Painterly Pot. Um, this is just to make sure that the eyeshadow stays because before I've had issues where I see the eyeshadow crease throughout the day and with Morphe shadows in particular. I just see that it creases easily and so we're just gonna try to avoid that as much as possible. So I'm gonna be putting the Painterly Paint Pot all over my eyelid. I'm just going in with like this, this is one of the cheaper sets I actually got off of Amazon. It was like 20 bucks or something like that. And I just used this when I first started makeup. But these brushes are actually really good. So I just kept with it. And 
I just like to do this before I usually do like a crazy eyeshadow look because this just primes your lids as well as holds on to your eyeshadow throughout the day so you don't have a lot of cre creasing issues and whatnot. So now that we have our eyelids all ready to go and primed up, um, the only thing I noticed about this palette I was just noticing is it doesn't have like a nude color to like set it in. So I'm just going to be going in I guess with this one and we'll just put a little bit just to set it and you know have somewhat of an eyeshadow base to go over. So I'm just going to be going in with that same brush and I'm just going to be applying that all over my lid. All right, now that we have a base, it's time for the fun part. I'm going to be going in with the shade Heat right here, and I'm just gonna be putting that all along my crease. And I'm going in with my Real Techniques um, brush. It's just like a nice little blending fluffy brush that I'm gonna be going and dipping in with it. Look at my color. I'm gonna be blending that into my crease. This is pigmented. Woo. This is why I wish these palettes came with like mirrors because I could be doing this right now but instead I have to get a separate mirror. So that's like the only annoying thing. Not bad, it's actually a really pretty color. Whew. Then we're gonna go in with that orangey shade that is next to heat and that is in the shade Ablaze. And we're just gonna be taking that with the same brush, dipping it in. And then I'm just gonna be adding that to the crease. I'm like focusing it on the beginning um, part of my, the inner part of my crease, make it a little lighter just so it's a little more in depth on the outer part. And then I'm just gonna be going in with another blending brush. This is just the um, naked one that came with my smoky palette. I'm gonna be going in with the shade Brave right here. And I'm just gonna be putting that um, on the outer crease. Just a little bit though, not, not too much. I'm just doing this just to add a little, little, some, little oomph into it. I'm going to be going back in with that Real Techniques brush and just going back in in that shade Heat and just putting that back all over our crease. Because I really just want to make sure that that red really just like sticks out. I'm then just going to be taking a flat brush. This is the one I got off of Amazon again in that brush set. And I'm just going to be going in with heat. I'm going to be going back in with heat and just putting that all along my lower lash line. And then with this brush, we're just going to kind of wiggle it down just because I wanted to give it that like smoke effect, smoked effect. And then just connect it as well to the upper eyeshadow. Now this is going to be the part that's just really going to make this look pop. Um... For me to make it like extra pop, I'm going to be going in and using my MAC Fix Plus and just spraying my brush. But we're going to be going in with this shade Ruby right here and just pretty much putting it along our lid. And so yeah, let's, let's do this. Okay, and again, I'm going in with another flat brush from that Amazon set. I'm telling you guys, if you need more brushes and need them affordable, this brush set from Amazon is really good. Try and find the link to it and link it down below if you guys were interested. Our MAC Fix Plus and just spraying. If I can unlock it. We're just gonna spray it, give it two sprays. You don't need a lot of this stuff. I know it's a lot of people, it's, but it's like you really don't need that much. And then we're going to be dipping into the shade Ruby. Oh my god, this is gonna like change this look. All right. And then we're going to take it along our lid. Ooh. You guys, look at that red. That is freaking beautiful. Holy moly. So I'm pretty happy with the eyeshadow. I think it looks bomb. I'm gonna go ahead and put my Benefit Roller Lash on my under eye my um lower lash line obviously because i need mascara there and then i'm gonna do one more thing just to make this look pop and i will be right back 
mascara is on. The last thing I want to do that's really just going to make this look pop completely is I'm going to be going in with the Stila. This is in the shade Smoky Storm and I'm pretty much just going to be taking that along my crease just making a line which you guys have probably seen this before but I just think that this will definitely make this look just completely pop. And I'm just taking it on my hand and I'm going to use a small brush because as you can see that's way too thick to make that line. I've tried it before and I messed up. I'm just going to be going in with the brush set. I believe this is like the lip um, brush that it comes with but we're just going to be taking this and dabbing it into that and then lining. So that concludes the look guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am actually like really happy with how this turned out. I think this is like a really cool like pop of color. Like hey look at me kind of look. I don't know. I think it turned out really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the new background. I mean new. I hope you guys liked it. I, I'm actually really happy with this background. And then, you know, we used it to do our eyes, but might as well set our face with the MAC Fix Plus. I'm just going to spritz this really quick. We look all dewy now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I would greatly appreciate it if you thumbs up this video and commented down below just anything, even like a, hey, I enjoyed this, or... Any suggestions for another video, I would greatly appreciate that. Also, if you, you don't mind, if you could hit the subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope I see you guys soon. Bye! <laughs>